What's up guys, it's Ace here from the End Wolves and today I'm going to be doing a part 2 to the Instant Blocks um, mod showcase and I will also start to do the Instant House Blocks. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Let's grab one of these Instant Diamond Wands and I think we go up to the Statue Blocks. Let's go for the harvester. We've used the light. Well, we might need it later. I'm not, I'm actually not sure what the instant schematics does, but yeah, we'll just ignore that for now. Instant tree, color block, and this. Anyways, I'm actually not too sure on if these if all of these are in. Also, be uh, if you can also craft these in survival, because I searched up some of the recipes, but I only found from here to here. I couldn't find any of these few ones. These six, and this one says creative mode only, but for these it doesn't. But I still couldn't find any of the recipes. I'm not sure why. Anyways, I'll show you what these do. So, for example, let's go, let's grab some bone meal. Let's bone meal the crops. Okay guys, I've finished bone mealing the crops and let's place down the instant harvester block. Now if we grab our wand, we can select which blocks we want to harvest. There's oak and all the different logs, wheat, carrots, potatoes, cactus, pumpkins, melons, sugar canes, pump. Uh, I'm not sure why it has pumpkins and melon and sugar cane twice, but. And you can also choose if you want to replant or not. So we're obviously going to take this and let's harvest. Oh, fell off. See, it's harvested the more and replanted as it said. And you can also notice that the trees have been harvested and replanted as saplings, which is pretty cool. And it's harvested all the way to there, all the way to down there, which is pretty far. And if we now open this chest, it has all of the stuff that has been harvested. As you can see, a few mushrooms here, tons of wood, we found some pumpkins somewhere as well. And the wheat that we placed, that we, um, that we bone milled. Alright, so the next one is the instant huge tree block. Uh, so let's just place this down. And you will see what's going to happen. So you get to choose if you want hollow logs, hollow leaves, air, air blocks inside. I'm not sure what that does, I'm not sure what the difference between hollow and air blocks inside is, but let's for example pick just normal oak, and it just builds this, just a normal tree, apart from it is like nine times as, no oh wait, about four times as big I reckon, something like that. Anyways, let's go inside. Um, Let's punch open this. Let's place down one of these. Yeah. If we fly up, break the roof, and here we are inside this huge tree. Very nice for like a massive tree house. In here looks pretty cool. It's a really wide area. So yeah, you can probably live in this. Unfortunately, I don't know how to craft it inside survival. But let's move on to the color block. And all this is, is when you place down wool, it just changes into a random color of wool. I think there's some different colors as well. Yeah, colors that are not on Minecraft, I think. I'm not sure. I'm not too sure about that. Actually, let's come back to the instant huge tree. Because I just remembered that you can actually get a glass tree. 
looks pretty cool. It's exactly the same apart from glass. And I'm not sure why they are all just classic oak trees like this, this shape. Apart from different types of wooden leaves. So let's say we grab a spruce tree. It will actually generate an a, a classic oak tree, but using spr oh no it doesn't. No, okay, never mind. Wow, that looks pretty cool. Just like a normal spruce tree. Let's come inside. Again, light it up. So yeah, this mod is really cool to mess around with. Tons of stuff you can do. And it also helps your survival Minecraft. And the thing, yeah, there we go. Oh no. Oh, that's pretty cool. So there's like kind of different layers. So that this is the bottom floor. And then it's actually closed off. And then to the second floor. And then to the third and so on. Uh, I'm not going to check out all the rest of the trees. Because there's a lot more. Um, let's just move on to the colour ladder block. Place this down. It is just normal ladders, just different colour. Random colours. And also, in my previous video, I showed you... One sec. This massive skydiving thing. Let's place one of these. And it has these colour ladders, but it's um no, it doesn't change. That would be pretty cool if whatever wood block you place it on top of that's what colour it changes. That would have been pretty cool. But it is um they've made it so that the ladders are the same colour as the wood, which is pretty cool. And if you right click this, send you back to the top, just like this. The skydive TP. And you can just right click this. And you teleport to the top. Pretty cool. Okay, um, that's it for the mod for today. Um, yeah, that's, yeah, I'm not sure what the instant schematic does. And yeah, let's move on to the instant house blocks. And for this, I think you want to use one of these. I'll just take the north. Um, unfortunately, you probably won't be able to finish all of these blocks. So I don't have enough time. But I can finish it in another video later. So yeah, let's start off with these few ones. A few blocks. Let's go over here. And I think for this it works better if you dig a block down and then place the directions and then place the block on top. Right click. Pops out with this house. It's a really simple house. Lag. I don't know why I'm lagging. Okay, just an empty chest. Let's move on to the next one. And just the same one, just apart from with using cobble. And they have a mini roof as well. Which I don't really like because it just doesn't look very nice. Oak wood with oak wood roofs. It just looks like a plain house. Uh, let's move on to the pool. Just a tiny little pool. These these ones are a bit simple. These blocks are a bit simple. See again, just a normal house. Plain old. Same structure. And yeah guys, if you enjoy watching me play around with instant blocks, I can find you some better versions like um ones that spawn in insane like mansions and stuff like that and other cool stuff so yeah just comment down below if you'd like me to do anything else any other mod showcases or, or one command creations and yeah let's go to the tent this is pretty cool mini tent 
empty again. I'm not actually sure how you craft any of these blocks though, so... Yeah. Nope. Oh man. Treehouse. This one's actually really nice, the treehouse. This one's probably my favourite. The only good one inside this build. Because it's got this, I'm not sure what this cage is. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. And you go up here and you've got your pretty cool house with glass. Much better than the uh, little houses over there. And it's pretty cool because you have a full iron set of tools and eight iron which you can just craft a cool chest plate. So yeah, let's move on to the next one. Look, it looks pretty cool. I'm floating on top of leaves. Next one is the mob trap. Lag. Okay. Oh, I've seen this. This is really good. This one's probably my favourite. Just go through here. Um, I think it has mob spawners or something. Somewhere up here, yeah. And I'll show you how it works in just a second. Okay, so there's tons of spawners over here. So that's a pretty good way to get spawners if you can craft this. Pretty OP though. And they just spawn in, fall into the lava. No, no. They fall in through here. They hit the lava and then the item drops through there instead of touching the lava and burning. Like this. And then there it just falls through. And then you can... And then you can just come here and collect everything. It's pretty cool. So yeah, let's move on to the brick pill house. Stable, sandstone pill house, stable, trading, mine shaft, custom house, modern house, library. Come here. Click, pop. Out comes a really nice brick house. I really like it. It looks very nice. Nothing inside the chest, but it's got these chiseled bricks here in the middle. Um, these fences. And yeah, it looks pretty cool, I reckon. I think you might be able to. That's going like this. Maybe you can make pillars. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You can like make a whole pillar, massive pillar of houses, just like a massive flat or something. And then just put ladders inside and then you can go up to the next levels and stuff like that. Which is pretty cool. Let's go to this one. Again, just the same structure, apart from using sandstone stuff, and these cool sand urchins with sandstone blocks, empty chests, cool design like in the desert temple. And let's move on to the stable. Let's place this down over there. That's pretty cool. Mini stable here, you can put your horse inside. Open the doors, get onto your horse, and get out. And you also comes with a sign. I'm not sure why. And the saddle for your horse, and some hay, bit and some hay bale for your horse. <laughs> Anyways, guys, sorry I did not. I was not able to finish this video. Still got a few to go. If you'd uh, like and subscribe, if you enjoy watching my videos, and if you'd like to see more, comment down below. If you'd like to see part two to this, uh, part three to this video to see the rest of these blocks and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!